Hello and welcome to the Comlex 5 minute review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional daily lectures, podcasts and more information all free as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Today's topic is the piriformis muscle. This originates at the anterior surface of the sacrum and it inserts at the greater trochanter of the femur. The action is external rotation of the femur at the hip and if contracted it restricts internal rotation. There is an important pathology called the piriformis syndrome. This is caused by the entrapment of the sciatic nerve either as it passes through the um, greater sciatic notch going below the piriformis muscle and superior to the gemellus muscle. An entrapment in this area will likely cause myospasm or contracture of either of the two muscles. The second type is where the sciatic nerve actually pierces the piriformis muscle and in this case the myospasm or contraction of the piriformis muscle itself leads to pain along the back of the thigh, loss of sensation, numbness and tingling in the sole of the foot. It's often confused with sciatica but remember sciatica is actually when the lumbar disc um, is pressing on the sciatic nerve as it exits the intervertebral foramen in the lumbar area. Okay, so that's the difference between sciatica and piriformis syndrome. What both of these complaints have in common is that they both cause pain, numbness, tingling below the knee and into the foot. So in terms of signs and symptoms, um, what you want to look for is any pain radiating down to the back, to the thigh, usually not below the knee um, in this piriformis syndrome. Its um, affected leg is often externally rotated and there's often low back pain and it's commonly seen when patients have been driving long distance depressing on the pedal causing external rotation of their feet. Um, it's often aggravated by sitting, squatting and walking. To treat it the patient is generally supine, the leg is flexed at the knee and the hip and the foot is either medially or lateral to the opposite side and the operator pushes medially on the knee while the patient attempts external rotation. Now that was a quick overview of piriformis muscle energy and the piriformis syndrome. For the complete lecture please go to comlexflashcards.com as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Good luck in your preparation.